Well, I think it's important to remember that if you pursue media coverage, you're actually also inviting scrutiny. So you need to be prepared beyond just what you want to say about your product or service. Um, are you ready to talk about the industry in general? Are you ready to talk about any potential contentious issues? Do you have a go-to-market plan, a distribution channel? Uh, do you have a revenue model? All of these things and more may be asked of you. And uh, what you're doing when you talk to the media is you're, you're really laying down a foundation of, of thoughts and comments that will be a permanent record. So you need to make sure that you're really fully and truly ready to go out and talk about not just your product and service, but your whole company. When you talk to the media, you have to be prepared to talk about more than just yourself. It's great if you have a product or a service that's changing the market. That in and of itself is interesting, but it's not enough to be your full news hook. You need to have uh, an interesting perspective or point of view, uh, market research, trends. There has to be some additional information that, you ha that you're making available in order to be a more valuable source and in order to give a journalist the reason to listen to what you have to say and to listen to it right now. Entrepreneurs don't have the luxury of a reputation or a brand to build on. They're often starting fresh and you need to help media understand who you are and why you're qualified to be doing what you're doing. So uh, it's really important for entrepreneurs to have a, a number of things in place. For example, a website, number one. That's the first place most uh, media will go to learn more about you. Uh, you need to look at developing biographies of the key founders or the people that are running the company. Who are they? What's their background? Uh, why are they doing what they're doing? Uh, you need to look at having sales materials, fact sheets, a company backgrounder on you know the history of the company, where it's headed. So a number of materials that will allow media to get up to speed very quickly on who you are, what you're doing, and what you hope to do with your products and services. Credibility is essential. And a great way to establish that credibility is to have other people, third parties, who can endorse what you're doing and, and, and talk about their experiences with your product or your company and the value that your company brings. Those third parties can be customers, they can be partners, they can be uh, other experts in the industry in your field, but what's important is that they understand what you're doing and that they can speak um, on your behalf. Preparation is key when you're going out to talk to the media. Uh, what that means is you need to take the time to do your research and find out who the media are in your industry, what they cover, what their interests are, what their recent articles have been, and what the conversation is in your industry, particularly in the media. Um, from there, you need to prepare your pitch and your story and, and make sure that it fits well within that conversation that's happening and that you've got something new and interesting uh, to contribute to that discussion. And then once you have your pitch developed, you need to make sure that you're well prepared for any interview opportunities that might come your way. Way. And that means being ready to do those interviews quickly um, in order to meet journalist deadlines, but also making sure that you have your key messages close at hand and you're ready and prepared to communicate those uh, and ready and prepared for any difficult questions that might come up as well.